Hi, this is Bill Stannard at Yes Online Learning. And today I'm going to give you a short tour of drawing with Kami. Once you get to your assignment, Design Graphics for P51 Mustang Squadron, you are going to go ahead and open the Kami and Google Classroom file down here and you will see that and it will give you all the steps you need to uh, get into using Kami. Once you have installed Kami on your Google browser, you're going to come up here and you're going to click on the Bobo LeDuc. In this case, that's the name of the student. And you're going to click on your assignment here where it says your work and assign. So you're going to click on that. And it's going to ask you if you want to open it with Kami. It may ask you some other questions. Uh, if it asks you if it can uh, talk to your Google Drive, say yes. And if it asks if you uh, need to log in using your Youth Exploring Science uh, email address, go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and open it with Kami. And you'll see what it does up near the top. It actually opens another tab on your browser. And here we have a drawing that I started working on yesterday. And I've put some color in there. I've put uh, some yellow in where the uh, ailerons are. And I've started to color in part of the wing with some silver and a little bit of blue around the star. So I'm going to go ahead and set my color palette right now by clicking down here on the color palette itself. And right now I have a dark gray, I have a light gray, I have a white, I have a blue and a red and a yellow and a black. And instead of a purple, I want to get uh, a medium gray. So I'm going to click on that purple and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to grab a medium gray. Okay. And I'm going to click save because so I'm going to use that medium gray up around here, around the cockpit. So let's go over a couple of hints here on how to draw some nice straight lines. Cami is really good at scribbling. So if I were to pick a color, I'm going to pick yellow here. And if I come up here, I can put in a nice scribble. Now I can get rid of that scribble in two ways. One, I can click on the undo, which gets rid of it. If I scribble again, I can also come over here to eraser and click on that and come over now and click on the scribble and it makes it go away. So there are two ways you can get rid of something that you've done that you don't quite like. So I'm going to go ahead and put some yellow along this aileron. So to do that, I'm going to come up to drawing and I'm going to pick four as a number because I know it's a, a pretty good size to use in a confined space like that. And I'm going to come up here and I'm going to start to draw. Now when I do that, well, that's not as straight a line as I would like. So I'm going to go ahead and undo that. And I'll show you how to make a nice straight line. I'm going to hold down the shift key before I get there. And I'm going to click up in the corner. And you'll see that I'm still holding the shift key and I've now drawn a nice straight line. I'm going to bring it in close to the cockpit here and let go of the shift key and let go of that line. And I'm going to do the same thing again on the trailing edge of that aileron. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to hold down the shift key. I'm going to click and I'm going to hold it and drag it down and then let go. Okay, so I've now got those two pieces and I'm going to zoom in a little bit here so I can work on that curve just around uh, the cockpit cover. So I'm going to hold down my control key and zoom in. And you can see you can zoom in very nicely. All right, so I'm now going to come in. 
my screen's a little bit sensitive and it jumps around. I'm going to come in here and color in right in there. And then the rest of it I can just color in pretty easily. As long as you put some lines on the outside, you'll find coloring in is pretty easy. So let's say I come up here and oh, I just messed up. So I'm going to now undo. But what if I'm up here in the corner and I've just sort of squoozed over a little bit? How can I get that dark line back? Okay, one of the ways is coming back to your palette and picking that darker gray and get a very small brush. And in this case, I'm going to get a brush that's only size one. And I'm going to come up here and I'm going to see if I can come back in and repaint in that area where I kind of overran the line. Now you can do the same thing anywhere else. You can erase things. You can uh, kind of clear up your mistakes as you go along. So those are a couple of hints on how to uh, use Kami. I'm now going to show you how you can go ahead and save because you see up here it says saved. If you, if you move up near the top of the if I make a little line on here and then I come up and I can click undo and you'll see right next to the undo it says saved. Well that saved lets you know that Google has saved it. So I'm now going to close this window by clicking on it. Okay. And I'm now going to use my back arrow over here and close that. And if I come down here, I can click on Bobo Leduc. And I'm going to open it with Cami. And you'll see that it is saved everything that I've done so far. So it saves your work when you close that window. So now let's say that I want to turn this in. What I need to do is click up here on turn in. So I'm going to click on turn in. And I'm going to click here on turn in. And you only want to turn it in when you're finished. You can always go back and work on it again, but don't turn it in until you're finished. Okay, if you wanted to work on it again, because you suddenly realized you've forgotten to do something, you could always click on the unsubmit button. Okay, I hope this has been helpful. It's Drawing with Cami, and this is Bill Stannard at Yes Online Learning. Thanks for watching.